Once he said to me, hey honey, I go, what? You never guess what happened. I go, what happened? I forgot I had Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> If you have Alzheimer's, it doesn't just go away. Um, it's a tough. But, you know, it's tough, but it's not the worst thing that can happen. It isn't because on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, I feel pretty good, and I try to um, make sure that you know all of us in the family are, you know, feeling good. You expect and always think that the person uh, will operate at their zenith, especially someone like like B, who has the ability to, to do so many different things over the course of her life and who have watched in amazement. In the beginning, when it was, you know, starting to happen with me, I, I didn't get it. I have a true rock. My best friend. <laughs> when you think about the incident of Alzheimer's within the African American community, which is overwhelming and devastating, when you realize that a woman over the age of 65 has a twice as likely chance of having Alzheimer's as having breast cancer, when you think about the stigma that's attached, and then when you realize that it's the single most costly disease in the United States and so little money is uh, applied to funding for awareness and research, it, it just made sense to say, we, we gotta put a line in the sand and make a difference. I believe in the, the one rule. If it makes a difference and it could help one person, then it's worthwhile.